Hey guys, I'm back with a group of Hero 3 Black Edition unboxing. This thing is a beast. I'm ready to get my hands on this thing and check it out. But right now, today, we're going to unbox it for you. Uh, I've already done the Silver Edition, and if you'd like, you can click right now. I'll make an annotation that'll take you to that video. You can kind of compare the differences. Um, I do apologize. My voice is a little off. I was sick all over Christmas break and lost my voice. And today's the first day I'm kind of back to talking normal. So again, I do apologize. It sounds kind of weird. Anyways, once we get inside here, the camera itself looks basically the exact same. I can't tell any differences between my Silver Edition. The first thing you're going to notice right off the bat here is this remote, which is really, really cool. It's waterproof up to 10 feet, so you can't take it diving. But if you're going to take it somewhere where you have your camera mounted that you can't reach or your, your camera itself to access the, the start and stop or the power buttons, you got this remote right here that can do that, and it can handle up to 50 different devices. So if you have 50 cameras... For whatever reason, you're doing some high-tech shoot. You can control all 50 devices from one remote control. And this is really handy. Uh, again, if you're near water or somewhere where you don't want to have your phone and you're afraid of getting it wet or dropping it and taking the chance of losing it or getting it wet, you have this remote right here, which is a $70 add-on accessory if you have the silver edition. So that takes up a big chunk of your extra $100 to buy the black edition. Once we get inside here, you're going to pretty much see the same things that you've seen in the Silver Edition. <clears throat> the main things that you're going to notice are things that are associated with the remote itself. Um, the adhesive mounts are the exact same. These here that I'm showing you, the J-buckle and the elbow, are the exact same. The charger inside here is the exact same. The things that you're really going to notice the difference is right here in my hand. This thing is what you use to charge your remote control and uh, everything else is basically the same. You have the skeleton back door, um, which is what you want to make sure you use whenever you're recording anywhere with wind, or if you're just in your home and you want to have the best audio quality, you definitely want to use that on there. The battery's going to be the exact same. The, the specs on this camera is phenomenal. With the uh, Black Edition, you get to record 4K, uh, it's only 12 frames per second, which we all know that's not the greatest. But, on the other hand, if you want to record 120 frames per second, you can do that in 720. And most of us use 720 anyways, um, just to save on space and everything on your computer. That is the setting you want to use if 1080 is not going to be required in what you're doing. Okay, guys, here's an overview of everything that was inside of this. I thank you for watching, and I look forward to sending out some more videos with the Black Edition. So please like and subscribe, and I will happy to answer any questions you guys have. So please leave me a comment below. Give me a thumbs up for all my work on all these videos. It really helps, guys.